Josh, man, you're able to drive home a pretty clean race car today and a pretty solid finish. Tell me, uh, what do you think of your day? Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, I think we had a car capable of, you know, running in the top five all day and, you know, maybe winning the race, but it just didn't work out. Some For some reason, every time I picked a lane, it didn't go anywhere. So, um, I don't know. It's just uh, part of Speedway racing, but I didn't have to go to the Infield Care Center, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> we can run this car at Talladega. That's right. And, you know, I know there's not a lot of moral victories in racing, but to be able to come away from a track like this with a clean car and a respectful finish, will you kind of take that as a driver? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like I said, I didn't have to go to the Infield Care Center this time. So uh, that's pretty cool, man. But, I mean, we've got speed. we got really good speed. So we'll go into Darlington, and uh, I love that place. We're going to try something a little different. We weren't very good there last time, so hopefully better this time. Were you able to hear anything on the radio during that last lap about what might have been going up ahead of you? Um, yeah, yeah, we were kind of talking about it a little bit. I mean, I, I knew it was going to be wild at the end. I, I hate it for AJ, man. He, he had a fast car, and, you know, uh, I think a Chevrolet should be in victory lane right now instead of Toyota. Fair enough. Tanner Model here at Front Stretch, Justin Allgaier. Justin, tell me kind of what you saw at your front windshield, uh, windshield during that uh, job, last bit. Um, you know, you know when it comes down to the end of a race like that, and you get overtime and green white checkers. Um, you never really know what to expect. Really, just proud of the team tonight. Um, everybody on our Sam's Club helmet. Uh, Camaro was, was really good. Um, you know, obviously, get up there, win both stages, put ourselves in a good position. Um, just needed to do a better job on the last restart. The 98 wasn't really able to get out there. I didn't wasn't able to really get beside with the 18 and. Um, I don't know. I don't know where we ended up right there, seventh or something. But it's uh, you know just a solid night for us. Good points day. You know you can't you can't be disappointed in that. But at the same time, I want to win the race. Did you see what happened with the 16 or anything? No, and that's where it's hard. Yeah, gotcha. I told him on the radio. You know when you take a green white checker like that, the intensity picks up by a thousand. Right? There's just nothing. There's nothing you can do in those moments. You just kind of along for the ride. You hope you have the right cars beside you and around you, and you work together. We just didn't have the run at the end, and um, I'm gonna question the last restart a little bit, like what I could have done better. I'll go home and look at it and, and try to dis decipher what I did wrong, or what our whole line did wrong, you know. Um, but man, you, you can only put yourself in position for these races, and put you know put a team behind you like this team right now has done, and and uh, they don't always work out in your favor. I'm rolling the car home. I don't know that there's. I don't know there's a scratch on it. <laughs> um, just did what we had to do. All right, Leland, top 10 tonight. Uh, just talk to me a little bit about what you might have saw out of your front windshield there coming to the yellow. Uh, to the green or yellow? Yellow. Yellow, yeah. Uh, well, the last lap, you know, we restarted. Um, I went through middle, and honestly, like, it was all eyes out front here. Um, just trying to get work my way to the front. Obviously, I want to win one of these in my rookie year. That'd be pretty damn badass. So, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, Frank Kimmel has done a great job for me on top of the roof, just guiding me through all these races. And Andrew Abbott on top of the box, Tyler Young, um, the rest of the crew, they do a great job. And um, honestly, just, you know, it was follow the leader and, you know, push as much as you can just so you get that top lane rolling. So, um, it was a good day for us. And top 10 is, is what we need and a uh, good, good points day for sure. And how do you kind of roll this momentum into the next race? Um, honestly, just keeping clean cars. You know, I we took that three weeks off, and you know, a lot of my mental, you know, strengthening and stuff throughout the that break. And honestly, um, I just wanted to. I was I wasn't wrecking a lot of cars, but we were on the the verge of that saying that. So I didn't want to have to do that. You know, these last 13 weeks, and honestly, like. I want to avoid as much as I can and, and not put myself in those situations. So um, just putting myself in better situations, you know, coming back after this break, which we finished 12th and now 9th. So, um, you know, for the Young Motorsports Sports Crew, you know, I think we're doing pretty good. And did you at all by any chance see what happened up front uh, oh, there no. coming into the turn? He told me they were wrecking. I'm like, wrecking? I, I didn't even see anybody. I was just so focused on the back bumper of the, I don't even know who it was in front of me, but um, I just was so focused on pushing the person in front of me and just going. Right. Well, from upside down last week to a top 15 this week, Kyle Sieg here at Daytona. Uh, quite a rebound for the for the team standards. How was your night overall? It was just we just wanted to finish on all four wheels <laughs> and uh, have a good solid top 15 run with no damage, and that's what we did. And just stuck to our plans. They were gonna ride. That's what we did. But it sucks riding. But kind of have to do what we have to do. And after last week and. <laughs> 
the week I've had and just uh, just glad we finished off with the team. Big, big day for the team overall. I believe yeah. three cars in the top 15. How does that make you guys feel? And what kind of momentum can you bring heading down the stretch? Well, like if we would have freaking finished where we were running in Michigan and how we finished today. And uh, we're, I think we're going to run pretty good in Darlington. So we'll see. I feel like we'll run probably top 20 in Darlington. We'll, we, I knew coming out after the break that if we need to get a reset and, you know, get going and run good. Awesome. Get better points, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much, Kyle. This is Custom Patch Hat. But what makes us custom? Well, that actually begins with you. We're just bringing your unique vision to life. No knockoffs, no lookalikes. Your design is one of a kind. We know hats, we know design, and we know quality. The proof? It's in our production. Hand stitched with precision and care, with brands you know and trust. A one of a kind patch deserves a one of a kind treatment. All the way to your doorstep. It's how we keep it custom. Steven Stump of FrontChurch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.